In this video, you will learn how to make a chopping board. The chopping board will be 18 inches long and 12 inches wide. It'll be made by fixing pieces of wood together using the edge to edge joint. The tools you will need are a tri-square, a pencil, a ruler, a cross-cut saw, a hand drill, a mallet, a hammer, a center punch, a marking gauge, a marking knife, a chisel, a scraper, a T-bar clamp, a bench plane, a block plane, a clamp, a vise, a rasp, a file, sandpaper, sanding block, and a brush. The materials you will need are work pieces, 10 nails, scrap wood, adhesive, and vegetable oil. This design uses four pieces of one inch thickness that measure three feet by length and two inches by width. Step one, cutting the work piece. Lay the pieces side by side on the table. Use a tri-square and pencil to draw a straight line across the surface of all four pieces. Measure 18 centimeters with a ruler and draw a center line. Measure another 18 centimeters from the center line and draw yet another line. One by one, cut the four pieces along the center line using a crosscut saw, splitting each in two. Remember to start each cut with two or three pull strokes to make a groove to hold the saw. Place the six pieces side by side on the table and mark a V that runs across all six surfaces. This will provide a reference when aligning the pieces. Use a bench plane to square the sides that will be joined so that there are no gaps when the pieces are placed edge to edge. Step two, marking. Mark out lines correlating with the position of the nails that will hold the pieces together. There will be two nails for each joint. Use a marking knife and a tri-square to extend each line onto the side that will take the nail. Use a ruler to find the center of each piece and mark the center with a marking knife and a pencil. Set the scribe of the marking knife to the center point and scribe across every line that marks the position of the nail. Punch a pilot hole using a center punch and a hammer into each intersection marking the exact location of a nail. Now drill a hole to house half of the nail. You can clean the surface around the hole using a chisel. Step three, fixing the pieces. Saw off the head of the nail. Mix 10 grams of resin and 10 grams of adhesive on a waste piece of wood. Mix it well with a stick. Apply the adhesive on the gluing surface of the first piece. Dip two nails in the adhesive and insert them into both of the holes. Now apply adhesive along the surface of the second piece. Fix the two pieces together, striking them with a mallet for a close fit. Apply adhesive on the one side of the second to fit the third piece onto it. Place the nails and strike the piece together with a hammer fixed all the six pieces in series. Lock the sides of the cutting board between the jaws of the T-bar clamp, using scrap wood for protection. Remember to put some butter paper below so that no adhesive oozes out on the clamp. Check with a ruler if all pieces are aligned and flat. Make adjustments with a mallet in case you spot a gap. Wipe off any excess adhesive with a damp cloth. 
let the adhesive dry out completely. For the remaining steps, continue watching How to Make a Chopping Board Part 2.